Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Ixion. Hope you're having a sweet day today. Our solar panels just completed. And that means I got the power necessary to go ahead and flip on the electronics factory and get to work making more electronics. In sector one, we have optimal working conditions, it says. And uh, hopefully we uncover some more pods because I actually do need more workers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the little bit of surplus we have here. I'm going to direct them to go work in sector two instead. Because we were extra hours here. And that was before we activated this. And so I feel like we're going to be even worse now. And then this sector is now extra workers as well. So hopefully we find some uh, additional workers somewhere out in this system. We just got the solar panels done. So the small and medium panels are all done. Now the only thing left to do is to start installing large panels into this uh, into the base. And you can see we're still getting pretty close to our power uh, limitations here. But I think we're actually good on this for a little bit. We got most of the buildings that I wanted to get done uh, done already. Um, and the, so now all that's left to do is really, again, just improve what we already have. Maybe go into the, getting the colonization training center or uh, maybe the mushroom wall if we need it. The DLS center to help with specializations or something. You know, there's, there's things we could do here, but we don't need it. Um, and then I can also go in and do the optimized quarters, which kind of upgrade all of our existing houses so that they can handle way more people. And that will, I think, be kind of where we need to go there. Um, I'm going to do integrated storage bays here first. We can store more stuff in the storage bays we already have. And then um, I think uh, I think I want to protect my mining ships. So we're going to self-welding after that if we can get away with it. All right. So that is what we got going on for research. Hull integrity has a positive balance as long as we keep up uh, what we're doing. But we're running a little bit low on iron. So I need to get people going out and getting iron as well. And uh, I'm thinking these are, I think, upgraded, right? These are level two. They look different. These are all just, it's in sector two. It's not level two. So I don't know how to tell what level these things are at, but they can level up, right? And I'm thinking that's what Whale and Lucian are. They're leveled up void vector or leveled up versions of whatever void vector is. Uh, but if I go over here, see all of these are still level one. So uh, it's interesting to see that. I, I would like to maybe get a little bit easier to see what level they are. But this, this aesthetic is, is fine, I guess, for now. Uh, we've got Mule. That's up and running. You're going to prioritize Iron. Just keep bringing it in. We need it. And then um, we can go Ice as secondary. And uh, we'll have some secondary stuff there, too. All right. Resource map. I'm sorry. Resource map? That's what it says. Planetary system map. Wow. Let's take a look at Rakatansky real quick. Plane security protocols indicate that the crew on board the Medusa is not the original crew. What? After intense questioning and observation via the ship's onboard surveillance system, it appears that these new crew members are indeed human and possess a good knowledge of Dolo's protocols and procedure. They stubbornly insist that they have always worked on the Tycoon, but their biometric data does not match with any crew register records. Did they get close enough to have their biology change? This is interesting. Remotely initiate the Medusa self-destruct sequence. What? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to lose the crew. Um, Naomi protocol. Fishing login ID. The Tycoon's crew manifest will be updated to account for what must be a database bug. I don't know about this, dude. Oh, this is such a hard decision. Like, if I bring these guys back. Like, if I bring these guys back. And they, like, I don't know, terrorize my, terrorize the tycoon. But I don't, I don't want to lose the science ship. But I also, like, I don't want to lose the crew. The crew on board the Medusa is not the original crew. After intense questioning and observation by the ship's onboard surveillance system, it appears the new crew members are indeed human. Possess a good knowledge of Dolo's protocol. Procedure. Biometric data does not match. You know what? Like, 
Let's take a chance on this. <laughs> I don't know about this. Let's take a chance on this. And um, maybe they just got too close to it. And their DNA was altered, but like maybe not their personality. I'd like to believe that the sphere, you know, we went into it remotely, right? We didn't, we didn't go all the way down to it. I'd like to believe, though, that this sphere, as radioactive as it probably was, maybe just altered their DNA a little bit, but like didn't alter who they were. We're going to, we're going to change it and see what happens. So, uh, Five crew members have been renamed. Um, Maxim Sloshevsky, uh, his new identity is now Willem Metzinger. So they're just changing their entire name. Nana uh, Sakamoto is now Matilda Weisman. So th yeah, they're just changing all their names. Huh. That's very strange. I wonder if maybe... Like, did the sphere suck us in and kick out five crew members that it previously sucked in from the Protagoras, maybe? And, like, we're going to end up getting the Protagoras crew back? I don't know. That's strange. Uh, let's go, Medusa. I'm going to send you guys... Uh, you know what? Let's just get this over with. We're going to go right back. We're going we're gonna to go back to the Tycoon. Let's just get this over with. Send the science team back. See what happens, and then we'll send you over to Fargo. Uh, Plymouth 37. Our probe has detected the presence of cavities beneath the planet's surface. The readings we are picking up from these chambers are similar to those from strong nuclear reactions. We have landed on Plymouth 37. The opaque atmosphere lets in hardly any light. Geological formations on the planet's surface resemble giant emerald waves frozen in time. We have set up near... We have set up near the location of one of the cavities. So kind of the same thing. We can give them a bunch of resources and make them go really thoroughly into it. And I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, these guys are all retrieving resources. So it might take a little while to get back. It looks like everybody's going to take 1.4 cycles. So we'll just go uh, with Void Vector. Give you, uh, give you a task to do. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, probe, 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 probe. We can maybe get any more iron available, like anywhere we can get it. Carbon is good. There's another point of interest. Gosh, like inside the storm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I'd really like to get this. I'm just worried that probe won't survive. I'm really, I'm really worried the probe won't survive. Let's find out. I want to get that. Um, the thing is, though, if I get this and reveal it as a mining site, my mining vessels are going to go get this like right away. They're going to they're going to head towards it. I don't know if that's what I want. We are getting the mining self upgrade right now, so I suppose and we do have enough science to complete that. So that will be done. I think we'll go for. You know, let's go for the colonization center training program. We'll, we'll do that next because that's what we needed for. Uh, I think it was this planet here, DeVille, right? We're colonization training center waiting. Yeah, exactly. It requires that. So um, we did the deep dive here. We need colonization training center for that. And then there's Fargo over here, which we're going to have Medusa go and do. These guys are in need of repair. So they'll go off and do that next. And then there's still 213 iron to grab from here and some more iron to grab from here. So like, it's just a matter of time to just bring that stuff in. But I think I have a lot of cargo ships right now and I can bring it in pretty fast with the number of ships I have. Like logistics, I think are fairly, fairly solid. Um, we can go in and maybe get some of this iron. Uh, where is it? It was there. I saw it there. We'll go get that iron too. And then I got to see if this probe survives the storm. I, I wonder if probes can actually can be destroyed. They don't... Well, maybe they do have a... Let me see. Do they have an upgrade available? Probe launcher. They can go faster. Uh, probe construction speed up, increased by 50%. That's okay. EKP optimization. Probe's moving 50% faster. I'd like to see... If there's any way to, like, build two probes at once. No. But it's a, that's okay. Just one probe at a time is, I guess, fine. So we've got, let's see, for research-wise, we've got deep diving apparatus. I kind of want to do one of these. 
I'm thinking like maybe the automatic ship repatriation, but the emergency cryopods could allow the, the, the crew to survive. Where this is like, if crew dies, then send the ship back. That's a little bit, I don't know. I don't know which one to do there. Um, we can also turn waste into alloys, which actually seems pretty good. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll prompt this one next. After the uh, colonization training center is done, we'll do this. And then if we start seeing homeless, like we do in sector two right now, we have homeless. Uh, I was thinking this might be a good time to perhaps. You know what? We can get rid of this. Let's dump this one in insect farm. And we can make more housing along the outside here. I'm also going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this building too. Because these apparently will serve a thousand people. I, it was 500 before. I, they might have rebalanced it since uh, I started. Uh, which is still pre-release, by the way. I'm still still playing pre-release myself. I, I imagine the game is probably pretty much the same as what you guys are seeing if you're doing it with me. But uh, I don't know that. Here's two more houses on this side. And uh, hopefully that just holds everything over. And these guys don't have to be homeless anymore. And then over here on this side, we will take... Well, it looks like this is only three. Yeah, so when this goes away, this is four wide. So a road will be able to go here. So I'll do this. And then we'll just have that road connected for that one. And then as this goes away, which it should do as we're going to... We're going to dedicate all those alloys here. So there's room for these alloys to go now. And then... Once this is eliminated, yep, we now have the ability to go in and just, uh, well, kind of want to maybe not, maybe not do it there. I, I think if I, if I do this right up against this, yeah, there should be enough. I'm, I'm counting the tiles here. So we could go like this and then I can get rid of this road. room for another one and then this road just goes straight over like that so that connects this little housing block i suppose and gets that going and now there's plenty of room for people to work uh, to live over here nearly extra i mean it's, it's basically optimal conditions like these guys can do it with less people than required as optimal these guys 15 short you need like two more people or something why is there creepy music? Are we... Are we going to be in trouble here pretty soon? Medusa is back at the Tycoon. I'm going to send you to Fargo now. And hope that nothing goes wrong with my crew. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, probes. Let's go in and get... Uh, I want some more... Oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. See this? This this seems dangerous. I don't know if I like this. This this looks like it sucks. Uh, did we get the research though? We did. So these guys have the self welding. More likely to endure dangerous weather. So maybe that's okay now. Um, same thing with the cargo ships. Already has this done. So maybe that's okay now. I don't know. Um, one thing we maybe could do is increase how fast they move. And, uh, we could do that. I was going to do something different though, wasn't I? After the colonization training center, I was going to go for the waste treatment center so that we could start processing waste into alloys too. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Okay. What else we got? So Plymouth 37, we've, we've delivered the resources here, and now the cargo ship's going to make its way around. So I would hope anyway with cargo... Oh my god, why are you going this way? Science ship has arrived at destination. See what I'm talking about? These guys suck. <laughs> they choose really terrible pathing. I mean, they've got the welding thing, but how long can they really last in here? Wait, hold on. It says right here. It says it in the, in the mouse over. If I can get the stupid thing to be on the screen for me. Um, travel time remaining. Oh, this is only to their destination. I thought that was like how many cycles until they blow up. 
I mean, they're mining ship tier twos. At least they made it through the storm safely. That's crazy. So we've got those upgrades, and that's pretty much the only reason I think these things are surviving that storm. Uh, that being said, though, if they can survive consistently, I don't need to move the Tycoon. So maybe there's the thing there. Summary of Intelligence in Fargo 39. Probe scams have picked up an emergency message broadcasting on a Dolo's frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different to the one used by the Tycoon in its auxiliary craft. Is that because our people are different? A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary cessation in the winds and the high winds of Fargo 39 has given us a clear zone in which to operate. We took advantage of the drop in wind speed to descend and land on Fargo 39. The gravity is intense and several of our measuring instruments have failed. Despite the extremely hostile environment, we are preparing to make a sortie to the signal location. We have exoskeletons, and it's going to let us do this. I feel like since we have technology that allows us to be in go in entirely reinforced exoskeletons, that this is probably the better option. I mean, it's... It's a light blue color and it's gentle and it's 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 you know it's blue right which is uh, the color of trust isn't it? I don't remember how it works. I I once remember uh, I had a girlfriend once that was telling me like different colors uh, have like different meanings. I I don't know I, anything about that, but I, I think I remember uh, <clears throat> like red was like the color of power or something, and blue was like the color of trust. I I don't remember what it was, but. I'm trusting this one, so I'm going to do it. All right. So there we go. We've got that. And, uh, okay. So <laughs> using the logic of past girlfriends in a, in a video game, like 20 years later. Oh, uh, save our people. Our people are going to be in trouble. Uh, so yeah, I would really like to find cryopods. Like very much so would like to find cryopods. Um, this is generating five every five cycles. That's a good amount of science. I'm wondering if I can maybe fit another tech lab. You're only allowed to have one. We can't make more tech labs. Okay. Fine. We don't have any more ice. And so we'll notice that our water tank is decreasing. So maybe we should look for a source of ice. I kind of want to see... Wow, look at this place. Like, you're just going into the real nasty stuff to get this, though. I feel like we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I really feel like I shouldn't do that. I, maybe there's research that makes them significantly more likely to survive a storm? I, I want to get this point of interest, though. I'm going to send a probe into the most dangerous place in this entire system. And we're going to see if it reaches its destination. And it shows me that there's something worthwhile, like right in the heart of that radiation blast. Plymouth 37, what lies beneath. Our team was able to survey one of the crystalline cavities beneath 37 surface. We gave extra resources to set up like a uh, infrastructure for this, right? Inside these gigantic geodes, huge crystals are bathed in toxic and corrosive gases. Despite the hazardous environmental conditions and disorientation caused by the cavity's kaleidoscopic nature, no incidents occurred. The team was able to draw new conclusions about subterranean nuclear activity and its, act and its impact on the formation of crystalline structures. We get 60 research for that, which is great. Uh, leave, the leave the planet. Oh? As we were preparing for takeoff, we spotted a geological formation that appears to house some sort of cave dwelling. We are re per requesting permission to investigate the site. Uh-huh. 60 carbon. Oh, and the creepy music comes back right as it does this. That's great. Is this, this, is this the extra temptation that gets our team killed? Is this the, uh, the one more thing? That we shouldn't have done that, man. We should have been... We should have just left when we had the chance. Is that what this is? Oh, go on now. <laughs> hey, we got two science teams. That's what, that's what it's for, right? Let's see what it is. And uh, we'll hope that we can get... I probably should have... I wish I could pause this activity and send the science before these guys die. 
Not to say that they will die, but there's a good chance that we see death, and uh, I would like to not see death. Lots of stuff up there. Um, if there is a point of interest, for real? I mean, we're already going there with the probe. We just have to wait for the probe to get there. Uh, is there any ice in a safe place? There's some ice there. Is there a better source? Yeah, right here. Can we get ice? My gosh, where is it? I wish I could zoom in. I can't zoom in on the map while you're in this view. So like, you're stuck being way out here, which is okay, I guess. But if you're like looking for precision, it's easier to get precision if you're, you know, because you're like, you can go in smaller increments, right? I think it's like right here. The problem is, is like, I'm looking right here. My eyes are right here, but my my mouse is over here. And so like, I can't see exactly where it is. I just have to go by feel almost, it seems. I think, I think this is good enough because there's iron there too. And it's pretty close. So we'll, we'll see what that, whether that's a good source of ice or not. It doesn't look like we've lost any vessels. We might be in good shape on shielding these things from the storms, maybe. Probe completed its scan here. And this one is Mac R. And there's definitely something going on on Mac R. Oh, goody. I don't know what to think of this. Let's let them collect this before I hit this button. Who knows what we'll have to deal with after that happens. All right, so Colonization Training Center should complete now. We do have enough science to complete it. So this should finish, and then once that's done, uh, we'll have to build that building. I don't know where it's going, but we'll have to build it somehow, somewhere. Oh, yes. It will be built. Still extra hours here. I'm wondering if I can maybe deactivate something. Uh, let's take this. Wait, this is in Sector 2. Well, we need some, right? We need, we need some storage for this, unfortunately, in Sector 2. So that it can be transferred out of here and then moved over. It, it, I really wish it would import it directly. Like, it would take it from this storage and export it where it needs to go. Rather than requiring me to have a full storage unit in this zone. But maybe they did that for some sort of balance reason. I don't know. I'm thinking about over here and whether or not I'm going to be able to like fit anything valuable here other than just housing. I don't know. We'll see. We now have colonization training center. It's a nine by nine structure. It does not have to be on the edge. So it can go here. Um, I really don't want to waste that space. Well, actually, actually I have an idea. I won't have to waste the space. So how we'll do it is we'll get rid of this road again, right? And then we'll just bring this road forward like that. And then if we do that, we now have enough to just go bop, bop, bop. And then this road can just merge in quicker. But now we fully utilize the space. It just turns this road into a dead end, which is no big deal. It's just a residential area they might like it better as a dead end there's less traffic you know i lived on a dead end once and it was great no like the no the fact that there was no through traffic it was wonderful you did, ne never had to worry about my kid like well, i never have to worry about my kid getting, getting hit by a car but it was very uncommon that uh a car would threaten my child's life as he was riding his bike because we lived right at the end of the dead end so like who's going to come back there other than people who are already going to me right send the probe and head this way. Okay, Plymouth 37. After approaching the supposed location of the troglodyte dwellings, they were revealed to be nothing more than optical illusions. This effect was caused by the light filtering through the thick fog of planet of Plymouth 37's atmosphere. So, anticlimactic to say the least. All right, Newton, are you ready? Wait, let me uh, see. Do we have... Uh... 
Are you able to survive storms? We have deep dive. We have exoskeletons. Do we have anything that would help them against the storms? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't look like there's anything to help them with the storms here. Like, it doesn't have the same stuff as the cargo ship and mining ship does. So maybe we just bring... I want to say maybe we bring the Tycoon into it. I mean, maybe we just bring the Tycoon into the storm. We got full hull integrity. We could bring it over to this location. I bet you, though, the Tycoon takes massive damage because we'll be traveling fast. And then we're traveling through the storm. And then we're here sitting in the storm. I just don't know about this. I don't know how you get this. We'll come back to that later. <laughs> cargo 39. We've arrived at the source of the signal transmission. We found a cargo ship of an unknown class that bears a resemblance to those we use in a Tycoon. It is embedded within the rock face below a large promontory. The high winds make it making its balance unstable. All right, so Source is an unknown class that has a resemblance to those that we use. And it's un it, the, the high winds are making its balance unstable, so this, it could fall. So knowing that, we can either recover archival digital data and then return to the Medusa. We can survey it, recover any archived data and return to the Medusa. Or we could recover data from the cargo ship and attempt EKP repair for cargo recovery. Ah! I mean, I want stuff. But if we're repairing the thing, we're probably gonna have to be like around it or under it or inside it. And if it's gonna be un maybe the balance unstable, like it could fall and then we just die, right? Like, I feel like this is a really. Attempt to repair the EKP engine and utilize the cargo ship's autopilot system to launch it into orbit. Success would allow the ship's cargo to be recovered. But failure means death? Probably. Survey the cargo ship, recover any archive data. Um, briefly investigate it, cover any data present and return. Or, cargo ship is in bad shape and rough winds are not helping the situation. Minimize risk. Entrance and exit of the ship will be made as quickly as possible. See, I feel like this is what I want. If its balance is unstable with the large winds... Ugh, I don't want to lose my team, but I also really want stuff. <laughs> I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it safe. I'm... It's just my, my, my thing about this is playing things safe when I can, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm foregoing some technology by doing it that way this time, but we'll see. We can wait for the science ship here, the Vel 59. Um, and when these guys are done with this, I'll have them come back here and then go around that way. As for Newton, you're in the storm for a very short time, but I just don't know about this, man. So 3.7 cycles, it says. You're going to be in the storm for 3.7 cycles. Is this a good thing? I don't know about this. Like, it's specifically highlighting something that not normal. Like, it doesn't do that for anything else, right? If I want to go here, it says, oh, it says 2.5 cycles. Oh, it does do that. I've never seen this before, this pop-up. Has that always been there? It's not doing it here. Hmm. Well, Team Newton, I don't know what to think about you, but if we're going to search for the signs of the Protagoras, you might be here. You you might be. Um, if I take you all the way to the Deville, you're going to go that way. So let's go to the Falcon first. We'll go over here first. Let's get all of these things as best as we can, and then maybe Medusa will go. If Medusa does it, then at least we lose the new people. <laughs> the people that don't match our crew manifest. At least we'll, we'll lose them. I was going to lose them anyway when I if I was going to self-destruct. So, I mean, it's kind of the same, right? 
There is another point of interest in here. Somewhere. Right there. Oh god, another one. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go see what it is. We'll send our probe into ridiculous, dangerous territory. I gotta believe this thing. Can this thing die? Our probe's just immune to everything. Can we just make... Let's make the, uh... The stuff we make our other ships with. Let's make probes with that. Let's just do one electronic in this zone. If we say we always want one electronics to be here, then it will send it here and then immediately send it over here. So it'll just be a trickle of one at a time, which is fine with me. Um, so this building only uses two power. That's fortunate. And we see we have minimal food resources around here. I'm going to just up the food quantities a little bit here. Let's say we want to have... Well, 110 is as much as we can have in this sector. We'll say 100 in sector 2. And we'll say like, I don't know, 70 in this sector. And then again, it's just going to keep moving around. We have tons of food over here because this is where we're generating it. Sector 3 is our food. I'm thinking I'm reserving all of this space for food. Like food-based stuff should just be here. Perhaps... We can get rid of this. The alternative life center. And we can put a monument here instead. So that way we're using less labor, less power, and we're still getting the benefits. Right? So we could do one of these here instead. On this side. That adds stability, and then I can remove this and change it to something that's maybe a little bit more useful. Maybe iron storage. Possibly, or, or alloy storage. Yeah, I think alloy storage. I need lots of alloy storage. My gosh. It's kind of wild how much we need here. I'm going to... I think I'm going to do that. Let's put this monument down right here. We're just going to put that down right there. And then as soon as this is done, we will pare this down. And then we can add more storage. Unless there's another upgrade for this. 20% more resources. 300. Yeah, actually, let's do this one instead. Yeah, let's, let's do this one instead. This will add all the storage I need. Because they can do... Kind of makes them all medium storages at that point. Okay, so we have Tatra V8. Looks like a little... It's got a rings around it. I love it. I just don't love this. <laughs> I don't love any of the storms. All right, let's see what's going on with Fargo. Team are safely back on board the Medusa. Archive data has been secured. That's it. 15 signs is all we got for that. But you know what we also got? We have a living science crew. And that living science crew will live long enough to go here. All right, Medusa. It's time. Off into the storm you go. I really wish you good luck. It's probably not going to work. <laughs> They're probably all going to die in there. Uh, we have another point of interest there. Send the probe that way. See what's over there. And then to reach this, if the science team here dies, which I'm going to say it's greater, much greater than 0% chance uh, that that happens, uh, I think given that that's a possibility we're gonna have to move the, the tycoon over here so that we can get around this and uh we'll bring the science team over here at that point there's just so much going on so this is giving plus one happiness so i think uh we'll wait and see like we'll wait and see is a good thing wait and see what happens with these storages and uh go from there waste treatment center can waste be transported yes it can be we can transport waste so we'll need to change one of these to waste storage and that will probably be one of these iron ones here i'll probably change it to waste because they'll be much deeper we we'll probably change this one i guess to waste and then we'll have all the iron moved over here once it's like 330 capacity. We'll change this to waste and then that way it can be moved over here where we can process the waste. So waste treatment center. 
Oh my goodness. Well, you barely fit, don't you? Aren't you something? Yeah. Uh, right then. That's a big, big building. I think I would like to tear these two buildings down. I know it's all the same, but I'm going to rebuild them one tile over. We're going to do that. And then population will rebuild this to be here instead. And then we'll have maybe another one if I need so. It'll go right here. Science ship has arrived at destination. Look at all these purple lights. Purple colored lights as it goes over top of it. It looks cool. I like it. How it kind of fades as this thing gets further away. It just sort of fades and not purple anymore. And then it's going to start slowly becoming purple on this side. Look at the, like, the attention to detail on that is awesome. All right. Science team made it here. Let's hurry up. Probe sensors de detected traces of a Dolos EKP signature near Mac R tracking its trajectory. It appears to have entered the planet's atmosphere. Coordinates of a potential crash site have been established. So the Protagoras could have been here. The planet's surface temperature is extremely low. Reaching the crash site, the Medusa's team found the remains of a science ship frozen in, in ice. I was worried that that was going to happen to us. Set up an excavation equipment. We'll just give them stuff. Yeah. And then we'll say Skatsi. Zatsi. Sadi, you'll you'll go do it. Science team's just gonna sit here in the storm. My god. Oh, look at you. I think not. No, no, no. We're avoiding that. I think not, mining vessels. I think not. Nay, I say. Nay. For you will not travel throughout the entire duration of the storm. If you're gonna go after this. We're going to be, like, set up in orbit of DeVille, and then we'll have you go get it this way instead. Much shorter trip. Maybe from DeVille we could wrap around this, too, but I doubt it. The Chewy! Chewy34 is over here. All right, we need to move. I, I think I want to move the Tycoon and, and move it over here so we can wrap around and go get this stuff. I think that's the next thing for our science teams to do. DeVille59. Is eligible for colonization testing. Data collection will help shape future Dolos initiatives. We've landed on Deville 59. Despite the cold and harsh environment of the planet, the atmosphere conditions and gravity are remarkably similar to Earth's. There are large bodies of frozen water on the planet's surface. So if we give 60... 60... Uh, colonists. Okay. 60 colonists... 60 food and 60 infrastructure. We can ex establish an advanced Nyakon colony infrastructure. I mean, let's go. Let's do it. We will assign Whale to do this. Or we could leave the planet return later. If I want to keep collecting things. I don't actually have these resources and I don't really want to type, have one of my logistics ships tied to that. So I think I'm actually going to leave and return later because it gives me the option that keeps all of my logistics flowing without having to have like one of my ships dedicated to it which I think is better overall any ice any ice any ice any out oh, what what are you gosh there's so many things to discover here isn't there there's another point of interest over here yeah good luck uh, getting this stuff Send it. Give them the infrastructure before they die in the storm. I feel like once they've reached this destination, they're probably safe. That might be a thing. I don't know. But traveling through this seemed like it was bad. I would hope, I would assume then, then sitting in it would be bad, but maybe not. Uh, you know, if you guys can survive this trip, I feel like this science team can survive that trip. But I might be wrong. I really don't want to be wrong. We'll send you to Roktansky first, and then maybe we can wrap around with less uh, problems. Maybe we still don't need to move the Tycoon after all. 
Tycoon's really like central. Whoops. Tycoon's really like centrally located at the moment. And I kind of like, I like, really like its location. I just don't like having to, you know, go through storms. I don't like that part. We have optimal working conditions here still. We're not getting a lot of births, man. Births is a hard thing to get. This is going to take 10 power and 20 workers. But it's going to give us more alloys without having to process iron, which is fantastic. So now what we want to do, we want to do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing we want to do is get storage for waste, which I'm going to place. Uh, well, I was going to place it right here, but now I think I'll place it here. So this will be waste storage. But I can't do that, right? Policy has to be selected for the sector. Oh, you have to have a policy for this. So I can't even run with this until I have this. All right, well, that's my next thing to get then. Yeah, okay. I need the DLS. I probably should have put that here, but maybe it will fit here once I'm done. Because I do want to transition to having people be happy without using power. That said, though, let's shut that off because we don't need it. We can shut this off because we don't need it. Can't work it yet. And then uh, we need another solar panel. So let's take a look at that. We have enough polymers and we should have enough electronics, at least for a little bit. So let's go in and get large solar panels. Lots and lots of solar panels. I just feel like the the organization of these solar panels are really inefficient. You know? Like, hear me out, right? At any given moment, with the way these are organized, at any given moment, you would be only getting a small fraction of your potential solar... Uh, well, potential, right? Like, you're you're not getting all, all that you need. Especially oriented this way, which is... This is fine. It's just a graphic thing, right? But, um, like, there's no way to get optimal solar coverage with this. I would think a better design would be to if you wanted to have this circular design like this which is fine i guess you would have like maybe like a really long sort of beam or scaffolding or pole or whatever you want to call it that would just kind of reach out about here and then it would display the solar panels out this way and then you know they would articulate so you could have like you know maybe uh six six pillars going out this way and then you would just simply face the the star and by doing that you get all the windows or potential views to be away from the star instead of pointing them towards the star like they are now uh, but then you also get optimal solar coverage all right so i've i've went off on a tangent that doesn't matter for a little bit my video is now complete <laughs> as long as i can do that one time you know that's that's the way it goes all right science team Newton, you can now bend around the storm. Only briefly tapping it. We'll bend you around the storm and get you to Chewy 34. We've actually delivered enough stuff here, which is great. So I think this science team, if it survives this, I'll get it out of the storm and go this way. And then this science team will go back around to DeVille. We'll do the thing at DeVille and then we'll have you go this way. So each science team gets to experience Immortan. Experience Immortan's power. For a short time, at least. <laughs> that sounds good. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. That's nice, but uh, I'm looking for silicon. It's the desperately needed. Team has completed a task. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's where the silicon is. That's where we'll find those shrimp, my boy. That's where we'll find them. <laughs> Hit this. Enemy of uh, enemy of humanity. There it is. Yeah, UN. With the discovery of the Eten... We're going to go with Ete. <laughs> Ete Menanke. Attack on the Protagoras. Many of the crew's theories about the UN's animosity towards Dolos have been confirmed. The crew has been shaken learning that they were struck with the seal of banishment by the former authorities of Earth. This will increase the prevalence of dead Earth sickness in the Tycoon. Great! 
So now we need to have the alternative life center and the monuments to keep people happy. Oh, good. Alternative life center is going to be necessary. Who would have thought? Huh? Who would have thunk it? I mean, I guess I could, again, I could also do another memorial, but they take up a lot of room. To where this doesn't take up as much room. So it's kind of, I want to say better per se, but yeah, it's kind of better. And I could bring the mess hall somewhere else and put this here. The mess hall could go, I don't know, over here somewhere with this. I don't think I need another farm. At least certainly not yet. Uh, the, like what this one farm is enough but these guys being neutral now because of you know the permanent decrease we're gonna need a monument and so i think if i upgrade here's what we could do we could make the houses hold more people right with that with that uh research we'll make the houses hold more people so that just finished uh the DLS center started, and then we can go in and do optimized quarter here on the crew quarters. When that's done, we can start eliminating some of the like these two houses and this insect farm, and we can put a monument right here. That will restore order here. This is still fine for now, and then over here, I'll need to do something else. So the colonization training center. This trains up to 15 colonists over five cycles using one electronics. Okay. Uh, well, I can't, I can't hit this button. There's no button here. If I train automatically, training will only commence when there is, when there are 15 non-workers available. Oh. Sixty non-workers from one to three go and the non-workers will be training it seems they already are starting to train even though i don't have i don't remember clicking this button and i also i don't i don't have this turned on but we'll turn it on there are 60 non-workers so that'll give us exactly 60 people uh, and it'll be less mouths to feed once we move. Oh, I see. So we're not upgrading an existing stockpile. Well, this is still good, though. The main issue I have with this right now, though, is that I can't just, like, directly replace two stockpiles next to each other. So I would need to, like, for example, do FE here and then remove this as FE. Maybe do like that so that they will move all of the iron over here instead right and then i can have to do this as well like i need to get the iron out of here so i can get it out of here and then if i can do that successfully and transition all the iron then i can ditch this make this a double stockpile like i don't even need silicon here i can just put the double stockpile here and have 330 in the same space instead of the 220 that we're doing now. So that's what we need from this. So all of this will, all the iron is gonna get pumped into here. I really want this to happen faster, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Let's turn this into electronics. That way we're like specifically designating something that needs to go here. Maybe that will, I don't know, encourage them to, to move it out. I don't know, we'll see. So, it looks like it says zero colonists available. 15 colonists in training. Here it is. So, there's just a cycle. It didn't actually use the electronic last time, did it? Because it says up to 15 colonists using one, which means we could potentially use one electronics for less than 15 colonists. I would very much, I very much don't like that. <laughs> uh, we got this done. Let's see. All usable components from the wreckage have been conditioned and prepared for extraction. The Medusa's team was able to recover data that revealed the course, sorry, the cause of the science ship's crash. Named the Amer Amer Place. M I was like Amera. 
Amer place. I'm a simple American. I see A-M-E-R, I go America, okay? <laughs> this, ship, this ship belongs to the second generation. Taurus class superstructure called the Protagoras. So we know Protagoras was around here. Following some sort of attack by the Etemenanki, the UN ship, the Amer Amer place uh, attempted an emergency landing on Makar. Coming in too fast, it was almost completely vaporized on impact. The crew manifest has been recovered. So even though the whole thing was completely vaporized on impact, we still recovered a crew manifest. That's sus I'm, I, I have doubts. X for doubt. Uh, 45 polymers will be extracted. 45 science. We also get high quality lubricants upgrade unlocked for workshop. Yes, leave this planet right now and move, Medusa. The Valiant 71 instead. Out of the danger zone, please. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, go back. I'm sorry. You you have to go back in order to give me the science. And then, and then you can leave. Then you have my permission to leave. Uh, another point of interest is over here. Of course there is. No, come on. Where is it? Come on, where is it? Come on. Don't play hard to get with me. There it is. That took forever. And then I right clicked instead of left clicked. Okay, that feels bad. Right there, right? Pretty close. Come on. Oh, right. Right. Uh, there. Go get it. All right. Science is being collected. Let's take a look at the other science team. We actually have a call coming in. So let's do that first. Administrator. We have collected and analyzed enough data to locate the Protagoras on the planetary system map via probe scan. Nice! Maybe that's where that is. Maybe I just found it. Maybe this. Maybe this is where the Protagoras is. It's in the storm. We're now finally gathering the silicon, which feels really good because I've been like really wanting more more electronics for a while now. Do we get these emptied out? Can we please empty these? Come on, you guys. Can we please empty this building? If I dismantle it, if I say dismantle, will you pull it out of here now? You gotta be faster with this. Come on now. Uh, let's move. God, these are full, of course. All right. We'll shift the ice one for now. This is ne this is now iron. I hate doing that, but we're going to do it. We now have storage for iron. So let's all move it down here. I do wish there was some sort of like direct upgrade, but I, I guess I understand why. One thing I do wish we could do is put things back in storage here. Like, go put this back in here. Because right now, they're going to empty these two things into this. And I may actually not get this completely emptied. Like, that's the reality. I may... They're going to offload stuff from here into here at first, I think. I hope not, but... Possible. Probe has discovered something. Is it the ship? It is the Protagoras. We did find it. Okay, then. Good. Science Team Medusa. Go to Valiant 71, please. Let's go see what's in Chew... Uh, sorry, not Chewy. It says Chevy. Not Chewy. Why did I think... It kind of... Yeah, there's a little bit of a W there, but then it's like Chew, right? Ignore me. I can't read. We've already established that I can't read. Metallic bracings. Our probe has detected an abnormally high concentration of metal isotopes within Chevy 34's core. We have reached the core. Metallic and prismatic formations rise from its surface, reaching impressive heights. They disappear into the gaseous atmosphere. Some are surrounded by span... Surrounded and spanned by geometric rock clusters accumulated during a, the slow growth process of the formations. They shear the winds that sweep across Chevy 34's core. Well, you know me. I gotta provide the infrastructure. The problem with this, though... The problem with this, though, is that my... All of my cargo ships have to go through the storm to do this. Let's hope they survive. Satsi, you're up again. Here you go. Sadi, Zadi, you're up again. I need something else. Ice. I need ice. 
There's ice over here. I just saw it. Pip, I just got to find it. Right? 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 Come on. Stop playing hard to get with me. There. There's the ice. Okay, if we can, if we can get ice back, we can keep our food technology great. Yep, that's what we need. Science team is going to come out of the storm here any bit. It. I want to make sure they survive before I end the video. It looks like they're good. They've made it out of the storm successfully. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been Ixion. Some more Ixion, man. I'm loving this game right now. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it very much. I hope you'll hit the like button. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.